and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Western Racing. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at series six of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks car and uh, Monster Truck two packs here. I really don't know what series this is because like I skipped. If you really like follow how many cases of trucks there are and whatnot in this series and how many they've done, I think this might actually be series five. Because the first series came out in 2020, this series came out in 2021, 2022, so the first series came out in 2020, yeah, I suck at math, anyway, yeah, I, like I said, I really don't know what series this is, I think it's series 5 now that I put some thought into it, but anyway, we're going to be taking a look at these again, um, these get to a point where they bottleneck and you start to see some pretty stupid stuff popping up in these. For example, if you look to the right of your screen, you will see a two-pack that makes absolutely zero sense. It is the uh, Hot Wheels Rock and Roll Tour Bus for Hot Wheels High with two school, and uh, neither of them have a matching paint job. So it kind of makes it a bit ridiculous as to why they did this. In fact, the Bone Shaker directly in, fun in front of you is the only truck in this entire set that has a car that matches the monster truck. Everything else is completely weird, and I really don't understand why. And that is one of the reasons why this series sucks, is because the cars and the monster trucks don't match anymore. Even in like the modern day, I just got the newest set of these, just bought them. There is not a single monster truck or car that matches in that entire series, and they're all re-releases. There's nothing new in there either. It is ridiculous. But uh, yeah, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be checking out this series. And uh, I got to be honest with you, looking directly in front, this bone shaker is about the only thing good in this entire set. There are some pretty cool things to look at here. There's also some pretty infuriating things in here as well that we're going to talk about and I really want to look at. But uh, without further ado... Let's get into this, shall we? So, first up, we are going to be taking a look at... I know I usually orientate the beginnings of my videos to where the first thing we look at is on the right side, but the first thing we're actually going to look at in today's video is in the middle. So we are going to be looking at the Bone Shaker set first, which I'm really excited to look at, because as I said previously, it is actually a pretty neat little set. So like usual, we're going to look at the Hot Wheels car first, then we'll look at the Monster Truck. What's pretty cool about this set you see in front of you here with the Bone Shaker is that both of these are exclusive to this set. This Bone Shaker monster truck as well as this Hot Wheels car have not been released anywhere ever since this. So this is pretty cool. Both of these are exclusive to here and it's really cool because I'm going to be honest, I think this might be my favorite Bone Shaker paint job on either of these. I really like this a lot, especially with the monster truck having white wall tires looks amazing. But I've only got 20% battery on my camera, so I'm really going to have to speed things up. This is probably going to be a longer video, though, and I'm probably going to have to record this in two parts. But without further ado, let's get this first one open, and we're going to take a look at the Hot Wheels car, and then we'll look at the monster truck. So let's get the nameplate out of there. Here's the monster truck. And then, of course, this whole series depends on not only the monster truck, but the Hot Wheels car that comes with it. So we'll get that out of the way throw that off to the side. My eyeball is itchy for some reason. Throw that right there. There's the Hot Wheels car. We'll get the monster truck out of the way. Set that over here. Here's the nameplate for it. I really like the design of the nameplate here. That is actually really, really cool. Doesn't really match the trucks though. I'll be honest with you, but I still think it's a cool little nameplate design. Alrighty, zooming in too far because I don't know what I'm doing. Here we have the Bone Shaker Hot Wheels car. Pretty cool Hot Wheels car, I'm not going to lie to you. I really like this a lot. So we've got a crimson red, almost like a blood red body. Black tires, gold rims, black chassis. Pretty cool stuff to look at here. The side panel has the Hot Wheels logo. I'm actually going to zoom in a bit farther because I readjusted all my camera stuff. The side panel has HW for Hot Wheels there, Bone Shaker, Hot Wheels logo with the skull right there. And you can see some black lightning bolt details as well as some black box details here on the side, which looks pretty cool. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. Not a whole lot to talk about there. On the front, we've got the famous skull grill with the engine, the huge headers coming up the side, nothing on the top. On the back, we got nothing. And you can see the little fuel tank back here as well. So there you go, everybody. That is the Bone Shaker Hot Wheels car right there. Pretty cool stuff. We'll put that down here, off to the side. 
And now we're gonna look at the Bone Shaker Monster Truck. Now this, like I said, is pretty much, and if you know this series and what it's all about, the Monster Truck and the Hot Wheels, the Monster Truck is meant to just be a giant version of the Hot Wheels car that we just looked at. So as you can see, we got the blood red body, black roll cage, chrome chassis, black tires with black rims, and white, uh, white wall printings, which is really cool. Like that a lot. The side panel features Hot Wheels there. You got the Hot Wheels logo in the mouth of the skull, Bone Shaker with the little tuft of hair. Hot, uh, Monster Trucks logo up here, that is the only main difference. You got that black boxing detail. Same thing on this side, but mirrored. The front has the skull grill, the engine with the pipes. The top of the vehicle is blacked out for some reason. I'm not too sure as to why that is. And on the tailgate, you've got Bone Shaker with the skull written right there. All the detail in the back. So there you go, everybody. That is our first one for today's video, the Bone Shaker set. I really like that monster truck. That's probably my favorite Hot Wheels monster truck. I won't say ever, but it's definitely, I'm, putting, I'm gonna put that one in the top 10 because like I said, I really like that design for Bone Shaker. I think it looks great. I think it'd look good in real life too. All right, second set for today's video is Hot Wheels High and Two School. Like I said, this is the number one reason why this series quickly fell into the toilet, in my opinion, is because all of a sudden the cars and the Hot Wheels monster trucks don't match. And I don't understand why that is, why they stopped doing that. For the crush cars, I get it, you know, but why can't they make the Hot Wheels cars match the trucks? I think it would have been great if we would have got Hot Wheels high with this paint job. I think that would have looked sick. But no, instead we had to get a completely different uh, car. And I don't know what that's all about. I really don't know why they did that, but... Yeah. Anyway, let's get this one open. Uh, this is an, a cool one for me because I do not have a uh, two school in 164 scale yet. So this will be my first one. Um, and that's going to be something you're going to see as a reoccurring theme throughout this whole video. I think literally every single truck in today's video, except for the one after this one, I do not have in my collection. So that'll be cool. So there's the nameplate. There's the monster truck. And here is the Hot Wheels car. So we'll get that out of the little plastic piece and uh, we'll start with the Hot Wheels car. Then we'll do the monster truck like we always do. Here is the nameplate for two school. It just looks like pencil drawing, kind of like that, you know, uh, notebook graffiti style that uh, a lot of kids in school go for kind of thing. All righty. Let us zoom out a little bit. There we go. I think that's perfect. So here we go. This is Hot Wheels High is the name of this. Uh, casting here we have got a black body with a red chassis black tires with red rims and we have this aqua blue window insert that goes across the whole thing side panel has the flames on the rims it says hot wheels rock and roll tour i'll be honest we've gotten two rock and roll tour buses from hot wheels this one's definitely the worst of the two because the other one is way cooler but you guys won't get to see that for a little while. I'm going to keep that one a little bit of a secret. But I will say that out of the two rock and roll tour buses, this one's definitely the weaker of the two. There's also a little stamp on the front here, which is the uh, shocker uh, hand symbol. The That, if you know what I mean. You probably couldn't see that. But this side is exactly the same, but mirrored pretty much all of it. Front end, you got the grill, the headlights. Kind of a, almost like a futuristic style bus. Got the reader board up top. Uh, on the top of the uh, bus, you can see the seats on the inside, which looks really cool. Little air vents and fire escapes. And then on the back, you got the rocket boosters that all school buses have. I mean, come on, those are standard issue nowadays. And there on the bottom, you have Hot Wheels High. So that's pretty much the entirety of that one there. Neat little uh, Hot Wheels car, I guess. Pretty cool stuff. Now for the thing that I am actually more excited about, to school. Um, this was a monster truck that I think was meant to replace Driving School, which was the school bus that they made for the uh, Hot Wheels Monster Jam line. But it's pretty cool. I love how all of the uh, different school buses that we've gotten in diecast form have all sort of been different castings in a way. So it's uh, it's pretty cool anyways. Uh, the side panel here, or sorry, we got a yellow body with a black roll cage chrome chassis, black tires with black rims, and yellow bead locks here, which look really cool. The side panel says to school. You got these little black bars going down the side that all school buses have. All the windows are blacked out for some reason, which kind of looks a bit weird in my opinion. Hot Wheels, to school, and pencil. And then you've got the uh, the flame drawn on there. Uh, Monster Trucks logo there, 68 there. Also, there's a little detail on the hood as well. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. On the front, you've got the girl with the hood. And this little reader board up here says to school with the lights that uh, school buses have. 
Top of the truck is white, 68. We got some flames drawn in pencil. And then on the back, we have Hot Wheels, Monster Trucks, two school there. And then the back end has some pretty cool stuff on it. Got all the different lights, the little black boxes, the windows, the bumper, two school, 68 Monster Trucks, never stops. Hot Wheels never stops. Pretty cool stuff there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is two school, the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks school bus. I really do like that a lot. I think that's a really neat casting. And something that they've done with that casting and to school in general is that they actually made a demolition derby one that I will hopefully get to show off on camera someday because I really think it's awesome. But that is the demolition derby one is sick. It is so cool. It really gives off the vibe of the demolition derby school bus. Now, next up is probably my least favorite of the uh, car and monster truck packs that we get in here. It's night shifter. Now, I'm sure if you are a veteran of the channel or a veteran of collecting, you know exactly why this one's disappointing. The car in here is pretty exclusive. I don't think I've seen this car anywhere else. So this night shifter is pretty exclusive, but they paired it with a monster truck that we've already gotten 3 million variants of. This was not necessary. They totally could have taken this design and put it on this truck, but for some reason we didn't get that, which is disappointing. So yeah, I've already got this night shifter. I'll be throwing this exact night shifter up on eBay and you guys can go get it there. If you are missing this night shifter, I'm going to keep the car, but I'll get rid of this truck since I already have this truck. But yes, let's get into it, shall we? We'll uh, still look at this truck on camera just in case. And then the cool thing about variants with Hot Wheels anyways is that there's so many variants. As much as I don't want to, I uh, will probably have to go through and look for variants on this truck. That shifter logo, that looks different. Um... I'll go through and look for variants, and if I see any, then I'll probably end up just keeping this truck anyway. So we'll put that off to the side there, and we will get our car out. And like we always do, we'll start with the car. So let's zoom in and get started, shall we? So here it is, the Night Shifter Hot Wheels car. It's one of my top 10 favorite Hot Wheels castings. I absolutely love Night Shifter. I think it's fantastic. We've got a red body, a black chassis, black tires with yellow rims in the front and chrome rims in the, or sorry, chrome rims in the front, yellow rims in the back. And we've got a smoked window insert. Side panel says 03 in this white box right here. We've got a white stripe, black stripe down here, Hot Wheels and Night Shifter written right there. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. There's nothing on the front end. On the hood, we have no hood. Instead, we just have this massive exposed engine. And in the back, we got these really cool turbo thrusters, or I don't really don't know what those are in the back. Nothing on the back or anything there. But yeah, there you go. That is Night Shifter. Not a lot of detail. This one's actually kind of boring with the amount of detail they put in it. But like I said, it's still pretty cool. This is an exclusive Night Shifter that I do not have in my collection. So I am obviously going to hang on to that. Cool stuff. But now for something not as cool, but still pretty neat. We have Night Shifter, the monster truck. I really do like this paint job. I don't know, I don't know why, because it's a really unique paint job that I don't think anybody has ever really thought of before. I really like it. I think it looks cool. So we've got a uh, almost like an aquamarine style or paint color body, a orange roll cage, chrome chassis, black tires with yellow rims. And it's the racing rims too. As you can see, they're the racing rims, which look really neat. Uh, the side panel has monster trucks, uh, Hot Wheels, the 22 with some uh, black and yellow stripes going down the side. Got almost like this radar kind of thing going on here in gold, which looks really cool. Across the whole side panel, this side is exactly the same, but mirrored. Uh, on the front, we actually have a gray or a silver grill, which looks really cool. On the roof, or on the hood rather, monster trucks and the two black and yellow stripes right here. Yellow window insert there, which looks really cool. The roof has 22 written on it. We got the stripes again with that radar effect. Hot Wheels logo back here, stripes continue, radar effect. So there you go. That is the Night Shifter monster truck that I will be throwing up on eBay because literally I don't think there are any differences between this one and the one that I have sitting on my shelf over there. So yeah, that'll be one that you guys will be able to buy off of me at some point once I get the eBay store going because I, I have never had the time to work on that. So sorry. Now this next set is actually really cool. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't actually, all of the Hot Wheels cars in today's video, I don't have in my collection. So I'm going to get to keep all of these. However, the monster trucks, on the other hand, I think Night Shifter might be the only one in this entire set that I don't have already. But the trucks that we're about to show off here are very interesting. They are very strange uh, choices for trucks. And the first one we got here 
is Flatiron and Invader. Now, what's really interesting about this Invader is this is the Demolition Derby paint scheme for Invader that they did. I really like it. I think it's cool. And there is a matching Invader Hot Wheels car, but I didn't. I never found that one. So I'm actually going to have to go back and buy just the Hot Wheels car that matches this. So that way I have it and I can do a video on it that way. But I'm really excited because this is a truck that I've been looking for for a long time. I have been really searching for this Invader. But now that I'm finally going to get to open it, I'm really excited. The cool thing is, though, is that it's not one-to-one, -one, but the flat iron up here does match this Invader. It has a very similar paint scheme. So that's really cool, and I like that a lot. I appreciate the Hot Wheels actually tried to make the uh, crush car match the truck here, which is pretty cool. I didn't, because I didn't think they'd do that, but, you know, you'd always be shocked with what Hot Wheels can do when they uh, actually put their head to the grindstone and actually attempt to do something new. So there you go. There's the nameplate for Invader. You get the 13 on there with the teeth. I always loved the Sky Tiger paint jobs. I always thought those were cool. There's the truck. Put that there. I don't think I actually have an Invader monster truck in my collection. I think this is the first one. I don't, I don't think I have a single Invader, so that's awesome. And then there is the Hot Wheels car. So uh, we'll throw Invader off to the side here. And we will start by looking at the Hot Wheels car, which is flat iron, which is the crushed. Uh, they don't, or, oh no, they do talk about it on the package. So this is a wagon, a crushed wagon, essentially. We've got a black body, a uh, almost like a light blue chassis, black tires with uh, dark blue rims in the back. And we got white tires with almost like pink gold rims in the front, which look really cool. No window insert. So the cool thing is, and I don't know if you've picked up on this yet, is that the difference between these crush cars and the crush cars we looked at in the previous video is they actually have variants between the tires, the bodies. There's actually color on here. Not everything in the previous video was all one solid color across the whole vehicle. They've actually variantized everything, and they make them look more like demolition derby cars than crush cars, which I think is fantastic. The side panel here has a Hot Wheels logo and spray paint. A red 13, a yellow X, a couple of them actually, and then the Sky Tiger mouth on the side. Now, one could only pray for a split paint job where the paint on this side is going to look different. Three, two, one. Uh, we didn't get that. I was kind of excited for a brief second. But yeah, this side is exactly the same but mirrored. Front end, nothing to see there. The roof is completely black on the top, and then the back is black as well. Back in black. I'm so funny. Anyways, <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed that uncomfortable silence there. But yeah, there's the bottom of Flatiron, and that is the crush car there. I Like I said, I really do think the Hot Wheels making legit, like, crush cars that actually function like normal cars is probably one of the smartest ideas they've had in recent years. Like, that is just so cool, in my opinion. All right, now for the thing that you guys are probably really interested for, which is this goofy-looking monster truck called Invader. Now, for those of you who haven't 100% picked up on what Invader is, it is meant to be, when this Hot Wheels car first came out, I think what Invader was is it was meant to be a double-barreled tank, if I remember correctly. If not, it's a single-barreled tank where the barrel comes out the back for some reason. I remember original variants of Invader actually had springs in the gun barrel so you could stick a thing in, and then when you pushed on it, it would shoot out the end, like a, a cannon. Now, I don't know, I think this monster truck cannot do that. It would be interesting, though, if they found a way to actually make it to where the monster truck could do that, but I understand if they couldn't. It's pretty cool stuff, not going to lie. I really do think Invader is a very underrated Hot Wheels casting. The monster truck, on the other hand, has always been interesting to me, and I like the fact that they keep doing variants of it because it is a pretty cool little idea. But anyway, here we go. We have got a gray and green body with a yellow roll cage, black chassis, black tires with red rims in the back and green rims in the front. The back tires have this red ring around them with 13s written on it. And then the front tires have this green spray right here with some white stripes as well. I don't know if it's the same on the other side, but I don't want to look yet. If it's like Demo Derby, then it, it is the same on the other side, but we'll see. The side panel says Monster Trucks 13 Hot Wheels logo with the Sky Tiger mouth right there. And then the one thing that I absolutely love about this is they did like a uh, a camouflage design is what they tried going for here, but it looks like someone hastily did it with spray paint, which I love. I love that effect. It looks great. 
Uh, the wheels are exactly the same on this side. This side, we've got the Monster Trucks logo, Hot Wheels logo 13. The mouth, I think everything is exactly the same, but mirrored on this side. It is. Front end, we've got Hot Wheels logo here with the camouflage effect. Up onto the roof of the truck, we've got a 13 here with the gun barrel. And then on the back, we got the 13 again. So there you go, everybody. That is the Demolition Derby Invader, a very underrated truck, in my opinion. Invader, in general, is very underrated, in my opinion. The Demolition Derby paint job's cool, don't get me wrong. All righty, let's switch gears, shall we? Uh, we're going to talk about something really interesting up next. This next set that we're going to look at is uh, Speed Bump and Lion Share. Now, this truck here is really, really, really interesting. Lion Share is probably a truck that many of you who even collect monster trucks have never heard of before. And the reason why was that this truck was originally a Target exclusive five pack truck. But it then made a reappearance in this series. So this truck has only been released twice throughout the entire history of its existence. The Target exclusive five pack where it was the exclusive truck. And now here. I really don't understand. They basically devalued their own truck here. I really don't get why they did this. The nice thing is, though, for me as a collector, is that there are no changes between the original lion's share and this one. I hope. I don't... I hope. I don't actually know that. So, if there are differences, then I am going to have to get the Target 5-pack still, but... I am hoping there are no differences, which means I can grab this one, unbox it, review it in front of you guys, and then just move on with my life. Maybe, and then I'll go down the line, I'll do the video where I review the five pack as well, but then I won't actually have to get the five pack. I can just use the trucks I already have. Either way, this is Lion Share, a truck that if this is exactly the same as the Target five pack one, Hot Wheels essentially devalued their own truck for some reason. And I don't know why they would do that because that's kind of goofy in my opinion. Um... I really cannot think of a good reason as to why they would do that. But Spin Master has the tendency to do that too. They released a doubles pack, Spin Master did, a while back that had uh, the Gravedigger and the Megalodon ride trucks in it, which makes sense because those are the ride trucks at the real life like live shows. But both of those were chase pieces at one point, and now they're not. <laughs> Lion's share there on the nameplate. I think they changed them enough that they're not similar, if I remember correctly, but I can't remember. Get the monster truck out of the way. This is a really cool truck, actually. That's actually kind of neat. Very royal. Uh, very royal looking truck, if you know what I mean. And then the crush car that we have is Speed Bump. My favorite of the crush cars, actually. Fun fact for you, my favorite crush car is Speed Bump. I really do like Speed Bump. I think it's great. So here it is, the Speed Bump we get with this one. As you can see, it is pretty cool. We've got a uh, light blue body with a gray chassis, green tires with uh, orange chrome rims, and no window insert. Side panel has the Hot Wheels logo in orange and blue. Uh, the door features a white stripe with a black stripe underneath it with some caution stripes. And then we got this yellow stripe going across. Pretty cool stuff. On this side, is exactly the same but mirrored, so I'm not going to talk about it. Here's the front end, the top crushed in, and the back. This is a coupe, if I remember correctly. This is the crushed coupe is what it goes by. So there you go. That is Speed Bump there. Pretty cool little one, not going to lie. I always thought Speed Bump was the best of the crush cars, but that's just me. You are entitled to your own opinion. Here is Lion Share, the monster truck that we get with it. We got a gold body, a brown roll cage, uh, chrome chassis, black tires with gold rims, and a red window insert here. So this is pretty cool. I really uh, think this truck is very underrated, actually. Now that I'm looking at it, I really do think this truck is underrated. This is really freaking cool, not going to lie. Side panel says Monster Trucks Hot Wheels. you got the lion here wearing a crown. Lion share written on the side, and you got all these gold... Uh, I had the word on. I had the word right there. Gold, like, plant designs. I, I had the word, and I forgot what it was. Uh, this side is exactly the same, but mirrored, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. Not on the grill... The hood has this coat of arms right here, almost like a shield with the lion, the cross paw prints, the crown, all the different details there. And then like Gravedigger, we got this really cool roof wrap up here. Lion share, you got the lion. All the little details with the crown and the gold looks amazing. And then on the back end, it says lion share Hot Wheels. And we got that sparkly gold all over the truck. 
that is actually really neat. I I might argue this might be my new pick as the most underrated Hot Wheels monster truck. This is actually a pretty awesome truck. I would love to see this in real life, actually. That is sweet. All right, everybody, there you go. That is Lion's Share. Might be my favorite truck of the video. That Bone Shaker might be second place now because Lion's Share, that is... I've never seen that truck up close and personal. That is actually a really cool monster truck. I'm not going to lie. All right, guys, we've got two more sets to go. This next one is kind of basic. I'm not going to lie to you. It is Chassis Snapper and uh, Sudden Stop. Sudden Stop is the crushed sedan up here. Chassis Snapper, again, is one of those trucks that I feel like was almost forgotten by Hot Wheels because it's meant to be a snapping turtle monster truck, which I'm not going to lie, sounds dumb, but the actual execution of it turned out pretty great. And uh, it's definitely an older truck. I think the last time that they did this truck like this was literally the first case of 2019. So it's been a while since we've gotten this truck in a normal uh, way. But then again, you got to remember that this uh, set of things that I'm opening here, this set of trucks came out two years ago. So you got to remember that as well. Uh, chassis snapper nameplate. I always thought the chassis snapper nameplate was really well done in my opinion. Get the monster truck out of the way. We'll look at that later. And let's get this out of the way, too. Here it is. Sudden stop right there. I really, I'm not going to lie. This might be my favorite sudden stop that they've released. I really like the design of this one. All right, here we go. Sudden stop. We have got a mustard yellow uh, body with a mustard brown chassis. That's kind of interesting. Uh, blue tires and white rims. The side panel has this graffiti design Hot Wheels with the logo there. And then we've just got a pink door, a black door back here. And then you got this blue and lavender paint splattered all over the place. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. The only difference, oh wait, no, no, it's exactly the same, but mirrored. The front, the top, the back, there's the bottom. And there you go. That is Sudden Stop. A really cool little crush car. I feel like that one's probably, Sudden Stop might be my least favorite of the crush cars, if I'm being honest. I still think it's cool though chassis snapper the snapping turtle monster truck we have got a yellow body a really uh, i don't even know what color like a navy blue uh uh roll cage i really like this roll cage color though i wish you'd use that more often chrome chassis black tires with yellow rims and green bead locks i really like the way that that looks hold on i'm gonna adjust the tires real quick one of the things i always do when i open it up a new monster truck is i take like this because when you get the truck the tires are all going to be all messed up so the one of the first things i do when i open a monster truck is i put my thumb like this and then i pull the tire out so that way they're actually adjusted correctly i don't know if anybody else does that but i do that because at one it feels it's satisfying to do but at the same time it also makes the trucks look better because then the the rim is not poking out really weird like that it's all pushed in and it looks uh realistic i guess the side panel says Moss Trucks, Hot Wheels, Chassis Snapper with the turtle head there. And then the whole body design is meant to look like a turtle shell. This side is exactly the same but mirrored. No detail on the front end. The hood says Chassis Snapper. And then you can see that really nice turtle design on the roof as well as there. And then on the back, you got the Chassis Snapper name with the turtle design as well. So there you go, everybody. That is a pretty simple one there, the Chassis Snapper. Really like that a lot. Very, again, another truck that I would argue is probably a little underrated. All right, guys, final one. This is it. This is it, and then we're done. We've got Blindsided and the Volkswagen Drag Bus. Um, Interesting combination here. I'm going to be honest. I really don't like the Crush Car nor the Monster Truck here. I'm just going to be straight up honest. I really don't think this is a good pair, but we'll get through it. This is the final one. We'll give it its time on screen, and then we'll close out the video. Sound good? Well, we got to look at the turntables. I don't have to do that now. I usually record the turntables like a week later, but that's just me. Here's the nameplate. Looks like a drag bus. I'm actually going to have to bulk on recordings here soon, I just realized. And here is the monster truck. We'll get that out of the way and look at that later. That is actually the original paint job that they did for the Volkswagen drag bus, by the way. That is... I've, I've looked at two different Volkswagen drag buses here on my channel. That one in this set, this one that I'm about to show you, is the original design for the truck. The first ever design. As for blindsided here, this is probably like its fourth different paint scheme that it's had. So we've got a purple body, almost like a lavender purple body, a dark gray chassis, white tires with jade green rims. Pretty cool stuff. No window insert, as you would imagine. We've got the number 16 here in black, Hot Wheels logo in black. We've got this white target with some lightning bolts and then just yellow and black paint splatters all over the place here. 
This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. And there is nothing else on this vehicle to be seen. So there you go, that's blindsided. The uh, crush car there. I'll actually just put these over here. I'm running out of space to put stuff in. And then here we go. This is the Volkswagen Drag Bus, a very cool uh, casting. I really do think they should make this into a real life truck as well. I really, it, it probably looked too much like the fluffy monster truck, but I still think this is amazing and they should definitely consider doing this for the real life circuit. I should make a YouTube short where I like choose my top 10 picks for real life trucks that they should make into real life monster trucks. I should do that. I'm gonna, I, I might do that as a YouTube short this week. Anyways. Here we have the truck. We got a white and blue body with a, or actually it's just a straight up white body. This is blue paint, believe it or not. White body, black roll cage, chrome chassis, black tires with chrome rims. The side panel has white and blue flames going down the side of it. Mosh trucks, Hot Wheels logo there in blue. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. It kind of fades to white right here for some reason, which looks really weird. The front has the Volkswagen emblem with the headlights and the blinkers. The roof has the uh, blue and gray white flames up here which looks really sweet the spoiler on the back has the hot wheels logo in blue and then on the back end we got the tail lights and that rocket thruster right there for the drag bus but anyway that is it for the reviews let's get to the turntables and then we'll close out the video
Well, there you have it, everybody. That is it for today's video. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. We'll just run through the uh, the different sets once again so you guys can see them all. Starting with our uh, Hot Wheels car and Monster Truck 2 packs. Up top, we got Bone Shaker and Bone Shaker, 2 School and Hot Wheels High, and Night Shifter, Night Shifter. Then, down on the bottom, we have our Crush Car and Monster Truck pa uh, pair-ups. We have Invader and Flatiron, Lion's Share and Speed Bump, Chassis Snapper and Sudden Stop, and last but not least, the Volkswagen Drag Bus and Blindsided. So that is it, everybody. That is the full set of Series 5 of the Hot Wheels car and monster truck double packs. I hope you all enjoyed. Now, see you all in the next Diecast unboxing video. Thank you and good night.